and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a very, very exciting and very large and in charge Shein haul to share with you guys. As you can see, let me show you guys the box real quick. It is quite a big and filled up box. It is quite heavy too. I'm going to put this down. But I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up. I kind of went on a fall slash winter slash houndstooth binge. As you guys will see when I start showing you guys the things in here. About 90% of this box is filled with houndstooth stuff. It is my favorite pattern of all time. I love that plain black and white houndstooth pattern. I don't know what it is, but I've always loved it. And I have so many things in my room with that pattern and in my closet. So I'm so excited to have more pieces to add to my houndstooth collection. Maybe one day I'll do like a houndstooth themed video or something like that because I have quite a lot of things in my closet that I could share with you guys if you guys like houndstooth like that. But I love it so, so much. It's just a very classic, beautiful pattern and I feel like it looks good on everybody and it looks good with everything. It's just such a classic, classic pattern and I'm so excited to share with you guys the things that I picked up so I did pick up quite a few accessories so I'm going to start with those and then try on the clothes so that we can see what they look like on together because I don't really have a rhyme or reason to this video I just kind of went shopping one day and now I want to show you guys what I picked up so the first thing that is on top is this houndstooth beret I'm so so excited that I found this at Shein because I've been looking for a houndstooth beret for a while now because I've got this really cute J. Crew pea coat that would go perfect with this, and I'm so excited to have finally found one. They've got quite a few on the website right now, but this is the one that I like the best. It's got this tweed pattern on here, and it's just black and white, and it's also got this fake leather kind of under material here. I've been seeing people wear it like this with the leather showing, but also with the leather covered, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna wear it per se. But I do know that I like to wear my berets kind of hanging off to the side. So we'll see how it fits on my head. Right now I'm wearing a like a half pony up so it's not really going to fit exactly. But I'm so excited. It's so cute. I love tweed. Aside from the houndstooth, I love tweed as well. So that is another common thing you're going to see in this haul. But you guys already know that if you've seen my previous Shein hauls, especially the cold weather ones, I love picking up tweed. It is just my thing. So I picked up that. I also picked up a houndstooth set. It's like a headband and big ol' hair clips. But I thought this would all be so, so cute just to accessorize. I already have a couple of houndstooth headbands, but you know, you can never have enough because I end up breaking my headbands every now and again. This one is just super, super thick. It's kind of looking like earmuffs or something right now. I don't know. I'll see if I like it with my hair completely down. And then the hair clips I really like because they'll look really cute with your hair. Just like as a statement piece, I think that's going to look really cute with some houndstooth. Just to accessorize, I also picked up this houndstooth mask. This is one of the reasons for the whole haul, to be honest. It is this little mask right here. I thought it was so, so cute. For some reason, I've been Googling houndstooth mask, and it's not that popular. I haven't been finding too many out there. And then it also came with this headband. I'm confused as to why there's like two random buttons there. They're like sewed in there. Hmm, but it is just a normal stretchy headband. Oh, I think it's so that you can hold the mask. Yeah, I think because they came as a set, so you can attach the mask to those buttons. I will probably not be wearing it like that. I'd probably get pretty claustrophobic, but it looks like you can adjust this with the um, little adjusters there, so I'm excited to have this. I'm not going to put it on my face right now just because I have lip gloss on and it's just going to stain this. So the next thing on top is actually a freebie, which I didn't know there was a promo going on for freebie. So it's just a pair of socks. I guess there's one for you and one for your kids. So my nephew's too small for this right now, so I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with it, but it's pretty cool. It says the 12th Shein anniversary on them, and there's this green color as well. So I guess I'll keep this around until we have a kid that's big enough for these. I also picked up quite a bit of jewelry. Not too much, but just a few pieces, so I'm going to share with you guys 
what I did pick up. The first one, it's just kind of funny. I picked it up. I already sanitized it because me and my sister were messing around with it. But it's this little piece of jewelry that you attach to the inside of your nose to make it look like you have that septum ring. It's a septum ring, right? That's what it's called. But there's one with the little balls on there and then one that's plain. I picked it up because I was just curious to see what I would look like with it. I kind of figured because of my beauty mark, it wouldn't look good and it kind of confirmed it for me, honestly. This is what it looks like on. You have to tighten it quite a bit. As you can see, it's still pretty loose. It doesn't really fit my nose. Now I know for sure I cannot work it, to be honest. And then this one is the plain one. Show you guys real quick. It it's just a fake little ring. It's just a little fun gag uh, jewelry piece. If you guys are curious about, you know, piercings like that, they do have things like this where you can try it out, see if you actually like it before you get pierced. And then I also picked up this pair of earrings. They're just some music notes. And this is what they look like. They don't match, but I really, really like that. And they're just plain and silver. I thought they would look really cute because I have two piercings on both of my lobes. And I thought they would look really cute. You know, just not matching. I also picked up this necklace, which I've been looking at for a bit now at other stores, and they're so, so cute. I love the butterflies. There's something about butterflies right now that I'm really into. It was super, super cheap. I don't remember the exact prices, but I will include, like I said, the links to anything that's still available in the description box below so that you guys can find it. Because when you start looking on Shein, you can look on there for days on end because there's so many so many things on that website so it's easy to just get overwhelmed and get lost in all the things this one is a necklace set let me just take it off of the packaging so you guys can see better so it comes with this one which is a regular silver chain and it has like some rhinestone detailing on the front here and then this one is like a rhinestone chain with some more of those butterflies sorry my camera is probably not knowing what to focus on <laughs> but this is what it looks like together i think this looks so so cute i loved how it looked on the website so i had to pick it up this one is a random one that i just picked up it is just an aquarius necklace i'm an aquarius this is what the um pendant looks like just the little water waves, you know? And this one actually makes such a cute gift because it comes on a little card that talks about, you know, Aquariuses and stuff. I also picked up this, I think it's a bracelet set. So it comes with this plain chain. And then this one, I think this was like a travel theme. That was a compass. And then this one is a little mountain. You guys can see. I thought it was so, so cute. And I was looking for some more bracelets and anklets to wear. Then I also picked up this bracelet. This one was really nice. It has like a tightener bead thing, which is really important because I have such small wrists. So I actually have problems finding bracelets that fit. It just has a plain like diamond looking design on there. And then you can tighten it. So let me just keep that on. I like how that looks. Very, very cool and classy. Then we've got another set. I think this one is the one that was the anklets. So this is what the chains look like. I don't know if it'll stay focused for long. This one has like the little knotted ball. This one has the plain chain. This one has like, I don't even know how to describe them. They look like weird bone, almost shaped triangular things. And then this one with the balls. One more piece. I really, really like this bracelet though. I think that might be my favorite one. This one comes with... I think multiple necklaces as well. So we've got this thicker chain and then this chain and then the little lock. I thought it looked really, really cute. I was looking for stuff like this from Forever 21 and Shein and Forever 21, I swear they have the same manufacturers or something. They buy from the same manufacturer a lot of the time. So a lot of the things you find at Forever 21, you can find at Shein for cheaper. But now that I'm done, I think with all the accessories, I'm gonna start showing you guys the clothes because there's quite a bit. So let's get started. This is the part I'm really excited for. So let's start putting on some clothes. So the first thing that I picked up is this crop top. It is definitely a lot more cropped than I was expecting, but I picked it up to use as a layering kind of basic. I picked up this color. I also picked up other colors. I think they're somewhere in the box. I'll show you guys when they pop up. I'm kind of just gonna do them in order of <laughs> when they come out. I wanted it to be a little longer up to my belly button, but it is really cute. It is a very comfortable material. I don't know if you guys can tell just by looking at it, but it's very stretchy very comfortable and very warm so I'm excited to have this next up we've got one of the first houndstooth pieces and uh, 
I'm kind of feeling iffy about it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the material feels a little cheap. But it is very, very soft, very comfortable. So it does have this bow here that you can tie however you want, if you want to tie it like that. I think I would probably wear this, you know, tucked in or layered with overalls or with a skirt or something like that. The sleeves do pinch in at the end, which I really, really like. I've mentioned it in previous hauls. I love the puffy sleeve thing. It just looks very, very cute, very classy. I just, I'm confused about the material because on the website it looked a little different. It it feels almost like a t-shirt material, which you definitely don't expect from this style of shirt. Usually it's like a chiffon material, which I have so many in my closet and I was looking forward to having a houndstooth one. It is kind of trippy when you look into the camera screen, I feel like. You know, if maybe if I move too much, I might hypnotize somebody. But overall, I think it's pretty good. It's very comfortable. It feels like it's going to be very warm in the winter time. Next up, we've got another basic. This one is quite tight. So it's this brown, creamy tannish colored black striped sweater long sleeve I don't know it feels like a sweater honestly it feels like a quite a thin sweater but it is definitely very warm very comfortable even though it is quite tight I don't feel constricted at all which is pretty good I did pick this up to layer with like overalls and stuff it feels very very comfortable I had a really good experience previously with picking up a sweater like this from Shein and I picked it up in a black and a light brown color and I love it it is the best thing I've ever bought I think from Shein and I think that this is another really great basic to have this is such a great piece to just throw on and just look like you're put together you know what I mean you could wear it with jeans like this I feel like you could wear this with just about everything okay so this next one I'm kind of feeling blah about it's kind of like the first two shirts put together with that same material as that houndstooth shirt but the crop topness of that crop top but not as good quality as you guys can see I feel like the cut is a little weird I'm not entirely sure I think it isn't a square neck I thought it was but it dips in a little almost like it wants to be a sweetheart but it isn't enough to be a sweetheart and then the sleeves are super super long and I have to keep it here in order to keep the sleeves up because if I wear my sleeves where I would normally do you see how it's like really loose here and it's definitely not supposed to be an off the shoulder it just looks very not proportional I feel like I usually like shirts like this with this style but there's just something off about the cut or I don't know what it is but I think that this one just missed the mark it is just not the best quality it is super soft but there's just something off every time I'm looking at the screen something don't look right which is a shame because it's really comfortable this next top has so many things going for it it is so so cute if you guys can see it's almost like it looks like a sweater vest like a tweed sweater vest on top of one of those chiffony shirts it isn't a chiffon material it's definitely like a cottony light cotton feel which is really great it's got this tight sleeve here it has a button on the top here for the Peter Pan collar which uh, Peter Pan collars are my thing it's got so many things on this going for it it's got the tweed it's got the houndstooth it's got the black which is my favorite other than lavender and it's got the peter pan color which are all of the elements that are my favorite the only thing that's kind of iffy is that it's cropped but i probably picked it up anyways because i loved everything else and i can just wear it with a high-waisted jeans or a skirt or something but it is so so cute let me give you guys a close-up of the details this is what the peter pan collar looks like and then the tweed underneath it is just so cute it also has a zipper here so at first when i was trying to put it on i was like uh oh it feels like it's gonna be too tight because there's not that much stretch on this shirt at all but there is a zipper on the side here to help you put it on so that saved me but i think it is so 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 cute I am so excited to wear this next up I've got this little houndstooth pencil skirt which is just a plain staple for my closet I already have quite a few but the other ones that I have some of them are a little too short so I wanted to get a bigger one that'll be a little longer so this one I picked up in a size small which you know fits perfectly it is definitely really cute I put it as high-waisted obviously you can wear it wherever you want to wear it for yourself but it is definitely long enough it passes my 
length test with my fingertips and I wanted to give you guys a close-up of this shirt as well This is the shirt that I was talking about that I bought in my previous Shein haul which I didn't film I just ended up buying some stuff But I'll put the link to this one in the description box below as well because I'm telling you guys this is the softest long sleeve sweater shirt Ever, and I just love it. It has the mock turtleneck and it fits perfectly. It isn't cropped It's a normal sized shirt and it is the best thing I bought from Shein and you guys need it if you live in a cold area because it is so so warm and perfect for the winter time and perfect for outfits like this with just a plain pencil skirt I just love this look so yeah just wanted to pick this up it is a tweed kind of material and it is not the thickest but not the thinnest it is pretty good I don't know if you guys can tell it is a pretty good material but I'm excited to have another pencil skirt to add to my houndstooth collection okay so this next piece I took a huge chance on I don't have anything like it in my closet and I'm so so glad that I picked it up because it is stinking amazing I don't know if you guys are seeing all this detail right now but it is this long tweed houndstooth skirt with this gorgeous slit on the side I have no words I think this is definitely now my new favorite piece of this haul I can't even, this is beautiful the tweed on here is such good quality it feels so so warm there's a zipper right here and it fits so perfectly it fits to my mid calf so it's the perfect midi on me and it is high-waisted got the slit that's not too seductive not too open this is definitely the perfect winter skirt if you are going somewhere your legs are going to stay warm it is very classy and I think it is low-key kind of sexy you know I just love that it's tweed and it's a long skirt I don't have anything like this in my closet at all that is a tweed material let alone houndstooth and it's long so this next piece I think is a little too small it is a size small but it is quite tight and quite short you guys can just barely not see the edge of it but it is right probably like an inch or two under my butt cheeks is where it lands so this one does not work for me for sure but it is so so cute otherwise it is this pretty bodycon type dress I thought it was gonna be a thicker material so that it would fit a little bigger but it is very very nice it is super warm and if this fit a little longer I think I would definitely keep this and get a lot of wear out of it it's got some fake pockets right here but other than that it is so so cute this is right up my alley for my style it is so cute it fits quite nicely actually up here it looks very very sexy and I love that it doesn't show the cleavage to like make it too too sexy it fits nice and warm it is super stretchy and comfortable the only downside like I said is it's just a little short on my butt but I think that's just a personal preference to be honest so let's just try on the next piece hopefully it will make me feel better about this being a little too small <laughs> okay so this next top I stinking love it is so so cute it has all of the elements that I love other than the tweed it's got the Peter Pan collar right here it's got the hounds tooth it's got a little bit of ruffle if you guys can see it is so so cute there's buttons going down the front I feel like it does kind of make me look a little fat but it might just be that I'm just wearing it Lucy out like this because I definitely wanted to wear this layered with a skirt on top or maybe overalls or something layered on top because I just think this is a great base to have in my closet the only thing I'm confused about is this material but it is so it's so confusing how to describe it it's like smooth but almost feels like a like a bathing suit material but it's it says it's hundred percent polyester it feels very 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 strange very cool very funky but I think this will be very cute you know tucked in or layered under some pieces I just think this is such a great little piece to have in the closet and I'm so glad that it fits very long in the back so it covers your butt you can wear it with leggings if you want it is very quite cute and I'm so excited to have this especially with the Peter Pan collar like who doesn't love a good Peter Pan collar this next piece I'm so so 
so excited about because I've been looking for a plain houndstooth sweater like this for the longest time. I'm pretty sure Forever 21 had one out. Maybe it was last year or previously before that. And I remember it being super, super expensive. So I didn't commit and buy it. And I'm so glad I waited because I got this for such a cheaper price. It is so cute. It is just a classic and plain black and white houndstooth sweater. It is so, so warm. It is like a knit sweater. It is so comfortable, not itchy at all. And it is the perfect length. I was thinking about layering it with a skirt or something when it's really, really cold, but there's so many options with this just being a plain sweater that fits like a sweatshirt style kind of pullover and I just think it's really great. I love that it's not itchy because sometimes that's the worry with these knit sweaters, you know, when they're really itchy and you just have to deal with it or wear a shirt under and then you get hot and sweaty. I love that it has the black lining detail around the neck and the sleeves and then it's also down here as well. I am so happy about this because this is just another staple that I've been looking for for my closet for the longest time. And now I've got a houndstooth one, so yay! Next up, we've got the black version of that brown crop top, which once again, very cropped, very tight, very fitted. But I think it's gonna be a cute layering piece for the future. It is quite tight and it's just very nice on the sleeves. It feels so nice on the arms. I like this material. It's very, very smooth. And then you feel that ribbed material too. It just feels very interesting. Different texture than that other Shein one that I showed you with the mock turtleneck, but I really, really like this. And like I said, I picked up a few colors. So I have one more color. I'm gonna try that one on next just to show you guys the color, but this one is the black. Okay, so next up, just like the previous, the black and the brown one, this one is like a maroony, burgundy kind of wine color. Really love this. This is one of the other colors that I kind of keep as a basic staple in my closet because I just have a lot of things in this color. It is super cute, just like the other ones, cropped, same, fits very snug, and I think it's very cute. I just love this color and it looks good with just about everything, especially in the fall, winter time. I love this color. But anyways, let's get the next thing on and keep going with this haul because we are busting through this. Sorry if I'm rushing through it, but I am trying to finish filming before it starts getting darker because I'm using natural lighting. So hopefully it doesn't get darker before the end of this. Woo! Next up, we've got another basic. It's kind of like a thin light sweater, but thinner, just like a step down from that. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels just like a cottony knit sweater, but it is definitely pretty thin, but it feels very hot and warm in this. It's got a slight ribbed texture on there. I don't really have anything like this in my closet yet with the long sleeve in this grayish color, so that's why I picked it up, and I'm so glad that I did. It isn't a cropped. It fits like a normal length shirt, but yeah, there's not much to say about this one. It's just a plain basic that I picked up so that I could layer in the winter time, but I'm so glad that I have it because now I have something in this grayish color. It is Definitely a nice little basic to have. Next up, we've got this pinafore style houndstooth overall dress. And I think it might be a little too big on me, as you guys can see. I think the sleeves are just a little too long. It is on the last slit. There's two slits here so that you can make it a little longer or shorter, depending on what you need. But I think it is still a little too long for me and the length of the dress itself goes to my knees when I pull it down it goes a little at my knees and a little below it but I think it might be slightly too big it is a very thin material if you guys can see it's not the best material it's very thin feels very cheap compared to the other things that I've had but the straps weirdly enough feel like almost like a thicker tweed material so it's kind of confusing I feel like if they had made the whole dress in this material it'd be a little better but yeah it would have been really cute I think if it had also pockets on it I think that this one is definitely gonna have to go back because it's just a little too big I don't think I can make this work unless I suddenly have a growth spurt which I doubt that's gonna happen at my age now so <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's the next piece, but let's get the next one on. So hopefully that will fit. 
This next piece is so, so cute. I wanted to show you guys first off my body because it is so, so nice. It is this houndstooth, like that grandpa kind of style of a cardigan. It is so pretty. Look at the button detail on this. They're so pretty. They're like gold with a pearl in the middle. It is so, so thick. I'm so excited about this one. I hope that it fits really nicely, but it is so soft. It... I don't know how to describe it. Feels like it came from a very expensive store, to be honest. I would expect something like this from Zara or something like that. It feels very, very bougie. I know it's not gonna look really great layered with this long sleeve shirt, but I just kept whatever I was wearing on. It feels so soft. I wish you guys could feel this through the screen because it's just so very nice. I think that this one was one of the pricier items in this haul though, so that makes sense. It does fit below my butt, which is perfect. Probably wear this with leggings and a shirt under just for a quick little layering piece so that it looks like I am put together even though I'm just rushing out of the house or something. So we are down to the last few pieces. This next one is kind of like a cropped thin long sleeve. It looks like it's a sweater but it's not. It's kind of like the same material. A lot of these shirts are the same material. I'm sure that most of them are literally just cut from the same fabric but this is so so cute and comfy. I think this would be great for lounging around. I love that it's kind of like boxy. That's what I was looking for. And it's just this plain houndstooth with the black detail on the sleeves and the neckline. You guys already know I love that and I think it fits perfectly for what I wanted. I wanted it oversized, but also cropped so that, you know, if I wore it with leggings, it would look really cute. So I'm excited to have this one in the closet. It is definitely way thinner than some of the things that I picked up in this haul. So just keep that in mind if you guys are looking to buy this one. I know you guys are getting tired of the houndstooth probably by now, but I've got a couple more things to show you and they're both houndstooth. So let me show you the first one and it is this houndstooth scarf. And just like the beret, I've been looking for one of these for so, so long. So I'm excited to have found this one. Sorry about the loud plastic if that bothers you, but it is this huge houndstooth scarf and it is so, so soft. What is this made out of? Because it is so soft. Where's the tag? It says that it is made from 30% viscose and 70% acrylic. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it is definitely very, very soft and chunky and thick and I think this is gonna look very very good and classy in the winter and also keep me warm so this is what the pattern looks like up close it's got like a it's like black white and gray almost in the middle I know that it's gonna be hard to see on top of this other hound's tooth which at this point it just looks pretty obnoxious but I think that tucked into my jacket this is gonna be really great it is so so thick I don't know if you guys can really tell but this is just like how thick it is I think this is gonna be really, really warm in the winter. You guys can tell the length, it is super big. And for the price that I got it, it was definitely quite affordable. So I'm excited that I was able to find it on Shein. But they definitely have a lot of winter accessories if you are looking for some. Last but not least, we've got this two-piece set. I'm gonna switch the camera angle a little so that you guys can see it a little better. But it comes with this long, jacket style I don't even know it's like a long cardigan it for me I am five feet tall and it just barely grazes the floor it is kind of the perfect length for me so if you are taller it's gonna look even better I think but it is so cute it has this string here so that you could tie it closed but I'll leave that for when I wear it again but it is so cute it comes with these houndstooth pants as well this is what it looks like it comes with these almost like a jegging type material it is definitely stretchy like a legging but it is a definitely thicker than your typical legging if that makes sense it is so cute with some heels i feel like this will look really cool and classy they do have some really large pockets here like i said they do give you the string to tie it let me show you guys it Tied. This one actually I think might be the priciest thing that was in my haul just because it was a two-piece set But this is what it looks like with the string here I think obviously it looks better with it open, you know, but you do have the option if you feel like tying it You can do a bow, you know with heels. Oh, 
I just think this is gonna look super classy. This would look really great, honestly, for a photo shoot or something. But anyways, these are the last pieces from my little wintry Shein haul. I know that this one was super random but super themed, but I was just shopping one day and I wanted to share with you guys the things that I did end up picking up because I thought they were really fun. And if you are a houndstooth lover like I am, I thought this would be even funner. I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, some cute houndstooth things that you can find at Shein like I said in the beginning of the video if any of these things are still available on the website I'll put the link to those in the description box below and if you guys have any more questions just let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer them if I can but thank you guys so so much for watching and for joining me on this haul and I will see you guys in my next video bye